Well, the lambs have been in for a number of days because I wormed them. And they're in. Oh, look at that. Hey, Mustard Kitty. How are you? They're in because uh, I've had them in for four or five days because I don't want their um, worming toxins to kill dung beetles. They don't realize the gate's open. <laughs> Look at that. They're so used to being in at the moment. The gate's open, lads. There we go. What is that? Five of them. I've realized the gate's open. Oh, here we go. More. Go on, lads. There we go. There we go. And they're out. Grazing again. They've been on hay and nuts. Yay. They're going to love this. Yum, 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 yum. As are the alpaca there. They're overseers. Rich in a diversity of species to munch on. The alpaca decide to go up the laneway and browse. And the lambs go into the bigger area and graze. All being overseen by, if I lift the camera up here, these are recently fledged swallows. There's two of them up there. Overseeing the lambs being released. And then there's other swallows, their parents are flying over the lambs, collecting the insects that the lambs are disturbing as they move. I don't know if I draw back enough, you might be able to see the birds flying over the grasses. They're so quick, they might not catch on the camera. Oh, look, from two, there's now four. Whoop. Oh! Anyway, life goes on. Biodiversity continues. Oreo Bloom is having a lovely time grazing that plum tree. <laughs> 